All right, guys, thank you very, very much. It's been a pleasure working with all of you all day. Appreciate it very much. Uh, and again, we're just about an hour away from the first exit poll data and two hours from the first poll closing. CNN's election night in America gets underway right now. It's election night in America. Voters are having their say, your say, and the countdown is on to the very first exit polls and the first results. All across the USA, from Arizona to Pennsylvania, Michigan to Georgia, and battlegrounds in between, the final hours of voting are underway in one of the closest and most consequential presidential races ever. The American people are exhausted with his gaslighting. Enough! Kamala! You've done a horrible job as vice president. You're fired. After a year of stunning twists and turns, the time to choose is here. We will win, win, win. We will win. Tonight, an historic and unpredictable election. <laughs> vice President Kamala Harris aiming to be the first woman and first woman of color to serve in the Oval Office after replacing President Biden as their party's choice late in the campaign. It is my pledge to you that I will always fight for all the American people. Former President Donald Trump hoping to become only the second ex-commander-in-chief to return to the White House, even after his unprecedented criminal indictments and convictions. We will never give up, we will never back down, and we will never, ever, ever, ever surrender. Two tickets with dramatically different visions for the country. Why don't we have a border? Because Kamala Harris refuses to do her damn job. Donald Trump has no plan for you. His plan is for what's good for Donald Trump. The entire world in suspense, waiting for the final verdict of voters. November 5th will be the most important day in the history of our country. Who will win and when? Are you ready to make your voices heard? This is CNN's coverage of election night in America. The race for the White House, the campaign for Congress, and the challenges facing the nation. Do we believe in the promise of America? We will make America great again. There's never been an election like this one, and anything is possible until the last vote. in action as we see voters casting ballots in Arizona as well as in Wisconsin and of course all across the nation with the power of the presidency and control of Congress on the line. Welcome to CNN's live coverage of election night in America. I'm Jake Tapper. Right now Americans are making a monumental decision choosing either Vice President Kamala Harris or former President Donald Trump to lead the country through the next four years. And we'll soon get some early clues about what voters are thinking when we roll out our first exit poll results about an hour from now. And that will help set the stage for the battle ahead, the all-important race to 270, the number of electoral votes needed to win the White House. All 50 states play a role in getting one candidate or the other to hit that magic number. But this election is expected to come down to seven crucial competitive battlegrounds that we will be watching very closely in the hours and days ahead. Georgia is the first key race of the night when voting ends there at 7 p.m. Eastern. Vice President Harris in a tough fight for the state that Democrats flipped from red to blue four years ago. A half hour after that, North Carolina is in the spotlight. Former President Trump is on defense in this swing state that he narrowly won in both 2020 and 2016. Then at 8 Eastern, all eyes are on the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, one of the traditional blue, call, blue wall battlegrounds, seen as critical for Democrats to win the presidency. Then at 9 Eastern, Michigan and Wisconsin are up for grabs, two more of those blue wall states where the Harris-Trump contest is close and bitterly contested. Then a third pivotal swing state is on the line at 9 p.m. Eastern. That's Arizona 
making that a very important hour. And there's one more battleground to watch, Nevada. Voting ends there at 10 p.m. Eastern as we get deeper into the night and the fight for electoral votes. Aaron Burnett and our battleground correspondents are going to give us updates on turnout and vote counting in those crucial swing states, along with Pamela Brown at the voting desk. John King is at his, at his post at the Magic Wall, where he will be mapping out the votes and tracking the trends all night long. David Chalian is crunching our exit poll numbers and will bring us the very first results imminently. Laura Sanchez is following the balance of power in Congress with 34 Senate seats and all 435 House seats up for grabs. Our political team is going to break it all down. Adi Cornish, Dana Bash, and Chris Wallace are here. And Anderson Cooper is with David Axelrod, Van Jones, Alyssa Farrah Griffin, and David Urban. Plus, of course, we have correspondents covering the presidential candidates. Let's go right now to Abby Phillip at Harris Campaign Headquarters at the Vice President's alma mater, Howard University, here in Washington, D.C. Abby, uh, what is the mindset right now from the Harris Campaign as results uh, start to come in in some places? Jake, I've been talking to Harris advisors all day, uh, people inside and outside of the campaign. Uh, the word I'm getting from them is cautious optimism. A lot of these people have been in the battleground states uh, throughout the weekend and in the last couple of days. They are seeing a momentum shift on the ground. They believe that something has changed in their favor. So a lot of the people that I'm speaking with, they are feeling good coming into tonight. One